Today I'm going to tell you some of the productivity systems that have worked for me as a busy mom and how I'll be using them to have a productive year in 2021. My name is Maria and I'm a mental health professional and a mom to a two-year-old who hates sleep. So it's fair to say that to get everything done I've had to develop some efficient and productive systems so that's what I'm going to share with you today. My first productivity system is to know when to multitask and when to monotask. I often find that those who multitask find monotasking a really inefficient way of getting things done whereas the monotaskers amongst us feel that people who multitask compromise on the quality of what they produce for the sake of getting as much done as possible. But I take a slightly different view on this. I feel like there's space for both worlds to meet in the middle. When I'm outlining my videos, when I'm writing an article or when I'm doing a psychiatric assessment at work, I focus entirely on the thing in front of me. I do not allow my attention to waver in that moment. This way the quality of what I'm producing is thorough. I don't miss anything. I'm able to pick up on subtle nuances in the way people speak, or when it comes to writing, I'm able to focus on how to succinctly express certain ideas without there being a compromise on quality. When it comes to tidying or exercising or any task that I find mundane or quite frankly don't want to do, I find that this is the perfect time for multitasking. If there is a TV show I'm obsessed with, I've made a rule for myself that I can only watch it while I'm on the treadmill. If there is an audiobook that I want to listen to, I'll listen to it while I'm cooking or cleaning the bathroom. When I'm doing something that needs to be done but I don't necessarily have a huge passion for it, I think it's okay to be mindless about it, which is why multitasking at times like this can actually be great for your productivity. Another system that has enhanced my productivity is listening to audiobooks. I still love to read a physical copy of a book, but I save those for books that I want to be fully immersed into. There are a number of books that I'd love to read and I know that I'll get benefit from, but because I'm a slow reader, I want to absorb the message in a way that really resonates with me, especially if I know that it's going to take a lot of mental energy to focus on. So I will listen to audiobooks on my way to work, when I'm cooking or tidying, as I mentioned earlier, or when I'm folding the laundry. I find that this keeps my mind stimulated. I'm learning and developing my mind, but I'm still getting everything done that I need to get done. When it comes to getting ready in the mornings, I have my skincare laid out in the order that I use it. I put my makeup products in my drawer with the correct brushes directly next to it so that I'm not wasting any of my time looking for things. One thing that frustrates me most in life is not being able to find something. Let me know if you know what I mean by this. Research has shown that the average person spends six months of their lives looking for things. Imagine if you put your focus towards something that you wanted to achieve, invested that time in your relationships or your health. Imagine how much happier your life would be. To see that time wasted just looking for misplaced items or sorting through clutter is really sad to see, yet so many of us do it. However, if you position the items in a way that works for you, then you will not have to waste any time looking for things as there will be a designated space for each thing because you've set it up in a way that makes your process as seamless as possible. When it comes to makeup, I have tried to move towards using as many multi-purpose or easy application products as possible. When I had my daughter, I neglected my self-care and over time as her sleep issues developed my self-neglect became worse. The thought of doing an elaborate skincare or makeup routine was beyond my imagination at this point. One of the things that has helped me is to use multi-use or hybrid skincare and makeup. This cuts down the process significantly and I get myself ready while my daughter eats her morning bowl of fruit. Meal planning, batch cooking and having go-to easy recipes. This probably deserves a whole video of itself, but knowing what I'm going to make, having food cooked and prepared and stored in the freezer for emergency days, as well as easily being able to pour together quick healthy meals, has saved me time and time again. <laughs> and just on this note, my slow cooker and I are now best friends. <laughs> So those were some of the systems that I started implementing in 2020 that made a much more productive year for myself and I know I'll be taking them into this year. Let me know if there are any systems that have worked for you in your busy lives. I'm always open to recommendations and inspiration from you. Also let me know if any of these tips sound like something you'd like to start doing to streamline your time and increase your productivity. That's it from me for now and I will see you in my next one.